with a record 21 trillion shillings in combined annual turnover of business. The banking sector is seen as a very lucrative front for sector players who largely profit from interest charges on credit as well as banking tariffs on their customer accounts. Because every time I make a transaction and I'm charged, I'm again charged the tax on that charge that the bank has charged me. And they say it was uh, a directive from the Minister of Finance. I want more clarification on those so many taxes we find on our bank statements. When you make an ATM transaction, you're charged 500, 500 shillings, and then you're charged 50 shillings as tax. Now the Uganda Bankers Association says that the industry remains challenged by a host of recurrent capital costs, which are playing into its bottom line and thus the erratic bank charges. Banking is a business like any other business, and there are costs that are incurred in running a business. Uh, the same electricity that is used by the public out there, security systems, custody of cash, which is the most liquid aspect, payment of employment, no more operational costs. So within that, banks uh, offer services and levy tariffs. Uh, different banks, of course, levy different tariffs, although we try as much as possible to be within a certain range. Corporation tax, for instance, is at 30%. Excise duty at 15%, leading out into various bank tariffs. Uh, sometimes government imposes taxes, like excise duty on certain services, uh, at the end of the day, that is passed on to the final consumer. Like any tax is paid by the final co consumer, uh, we just collect it on behalf of government for the services we provide. I think what I can comment is overall, there is a general trend to bring this down because the banking sector has adopted the model for as much as possible to use shared platforms jointly supported by all the member banks so that instead of duplicating capital expenditure, Bank of Uganda as a market regulator, as well as other sector interest groups, cite new products such as agency banking, bank assurance, and Islamic banking as among other windows that could spread and thin down on the cost of banking services. Uh, the commercial banks have to put a specific, um, uh, what we call a project. Uh, if they want to, do, uh, to carry out Islamic banking and finance as a window, they have to ensure that they have all the sensitization materials which they are going to distribute to their customers. It's a new product and therefore the customers have to be aware uh, of what they are going into. There are different partnerships and contracts. Raina Ojun, NTV Business.